the uh, rooming positions. Him and Lugia to upset him the uh, situation for MBS coming down here. Actually, I room with them. Shots to them. It's been absolutely fantastic time. But now, Scabs, grand finals. We're in Virginia, and we got a guy from Jersey and a guy from Georgia. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, no, no, please. I need to hear your opinion. Bro. I don't. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> We're not going back to the dark days of MD Free A. Oh, enhanced, save oh. me, save me. Enhanced. He got nine. He got nine. He got nine. Oh no. I mean, we had a lot of phenomenal players stepping up to the plate for this one. We've had a ton of upsets, but it is no surprise, perhaps, that these two managed to make it all the way here. The second seed and the sixth seed locked it down for Grands Momo. Well, who you got? Honestly, Omega has been playing fantastic today. Yeah. Whether it's the movement off the ledge, whether it's catching his opponent's uh, habits and positioning in general, I think Omega has been playing fantastic. But if there's one player who I've seen time and time again, I, mean, I live in the same region this guy, being able to level up, being dropped down the losers, and come back so much stronger in grands, I think Syrup definitely still got a horse in this race, regardless of Omega takes the first stock, and we're in for a banger of a set, regardless of how it goes. That we are now in this position. Safe shield pressure and actually gets the splash hit box to poke, it looked like right there. So Omega doing a solid job of just timing out this arson after losing stock one, but misspacing the up smash. That was a gimme right there, and then Omega just stopped mashing. Really good actually adaptation there from Omega to uh, not mash out of that. Again, being able to catch his opponent, getting a little too over aggressive. And again, trying to find that damage, getting a little too lost in the saucer. They're getting hit with that. Uh, an anvil syrup, good stuff there regardless. Honestly, a big attention already we're seeing from the last set, being able to get those materials a lot more earlier on instead of focusing on finding the damage right there. The materials matter more in position like this. Because if Joker has you without any materials, there's no way to fight back. Agreed. In this position though, when Arsene is just about ready to make an appearance, you have to make sure that you're not pinned to the corner when the big man comes out to play. Double Guns actually destroys that platform as well. And then the grab to Omega showing how he was able to knock Syrup into loser's bracket. Syrup might want the run back, but we have to go ahead and play immaculately to get it. 100%. The goal tools online, definitely the quicker frame is going to be huge against Arsene. The up smash uh, shield not going to take one just yet. Goes for a reflection there on the anvil. Big. Wow. How do you actually land against this character with that reflection sending the anvil so high up? You Typically you think question. that this down air is free, but uh, Omega's saying, no, you're free, though. No. Wow. So you have to put it out there. And honestly, it, it, that might be what the vibe is going into this. Pressure there regardless. No more Arsene. Meteor just left. Syrup needs to take the stock yesterday because we need to get some time to get those materials up. Diamond Tools online. Definitely don't want to voice that a little bit too much. Here comes the get-up attack through that. Just straight up back onto the stage and getting aggression up again. Yeah, but Omega, unlike most Joker means, getting 20-30% instead of accentuating that, at least saying, okay, you know what? I'm fine. And of course, right there, you're not fine. No. <laughs> no, that downer made sure that that man was very not fine. Very not fine. My God. But still got the Diamond Tools up regardless. Down 36%. Syrup looking to get more tools to uh, help out the deficit there, but Omega Man not keeping the pressure up whatsoever, deleting those walls, and just constantly, even the gun, not too much damage, like interrupting him in the middle of mining has been huge so far. Tried to actually get the footstool out of shield in that position, but mixed it up right there. Omega now has Arsene, how we all know what this character can do, but unable to get a connection right there, only an iron tool, so no danger of dying quite yet. Oh, both of them they on the platform there. Oh, setting up the block. And Sierra's been relief one, putting on a single block, going for the down slash, and then getting the floating off there with the back air. I find that one just yet either with the iron block. I mean, a little bit of materials here and there, trying to keep the pressure up regardless. The back air is going to do it, Omega, not expecting the aggression there from Sierra at the end. Sierra taking game number one. Like I said, second lease on life. The dipping down the losers just, you know, that, that knocks back into you. That... Back air too, connected so strongly and so quickly that I don't think Omega would have the DI ready. Yeah, no, I no, did no. not see kill sparks in that. I think he's definitely expecting Syrup to mine a little more materials there, but Syrup's saying, okay, you know what? I see you didn't go for, usually uh, when Omega was expecting you to go back from materials, he'll jump, he'll do jump gun or jump a or retreating a -huh. So he recognized that it, uh, Omega was sitting there waiting for a punish. He's like, okay, I'm just gonna back air you there. You're not ready for this. No. And that's, that's the kind of moment to moment interaction that's the moment to moment reaction that we need from Syrup going the rest of the set. Trying to chip away in neutral now with Gun starting off game two, and I am I'm optimistic about the stage pick Momo. Like I think that this is a really good pick for for this Joker to be able to get things, some things like those up air strings and also just avoid the down airs in these positions. But we've all seen what Steve can do with these platforms. Ooh. The full Rebels guard, Arsene is out and ready to play early, but was it worth it? All that damage off of that interaction. 
that's a great question. Honestly, we're going to see if that Joker is worth it. Going for the up smash on the minecart. Looking right there. The up throw. Going, ooh, trying to go for the forward air, but Syrup avoiding a nice DI to avoid that off of the up throw. Yeah, you know, Omega getting getting way too overzealous. So definitely, I recognize after getting your Arsene immediately off of that TNT, you started feeling yourself a little bit. Against Syrup, mm -mm, you got to calm down. That's Agreed. not happening. Yeah, you got to take it a little bit slower in that position. So it does get the drag down, but actually the last like lingering hitbox of that up air, so it wasn't going to connect properly. Plus, you have the crafting table right there to slow down that down smash. Looking for an opening there. It comes a down throw again. Looking to find more damage there. Omega just trying to keep the chase up on here. But at, at, with a lead here, Steve with a lead against Joker, man, it's so tough because you can't play your normal game of fading away with gun. You need to get in there. You need to start winning games. And Syrup does not need to respect anything you're throwing at him. Just, I'm gonna say I'm gonna throw out a hitbox, and I'm gonna trade with you every day of the week because Steve wins these trades all the time. But I'm, I'll just go for up smash there as well, catching Syrup getting a little too overzealous. It's gonna be huge. But now you've got your ascend burn beginning of the stock, and if Syrup finds a little bit of damage, your ascend could be gone for almost the rest of this entire stock. I agree. You gotta get some damage going real quick here. Already lands one back air into the gun, and was that a little like nil that popped up right there? I think it was. Oh. <laughs> That was scary. Any time Joker gets a, <laughs> a jab reset off of a forward air, I, I get scared for my life. A little bit worrisome for sure. Manages to roll out of that grab. Forward tilt as well to continue the pressure. And then the perfect position of that A-hop. Like these these little like projectiles arcing over the one block walls have been really sick for Momek. It's the little things that help him stay just about even in this percentage war in neutral. It's also the reminiscence of something like Mega Man Pellet, right? Being able to make your opponent flinch in a moment to moment, forcing them to, again, re-engage the mining. And then that gives you something like, that's one material gone, one material at a time. That matters a lot in moment to moment interactions. And you see back here, Omega's at the lead back. And he's putting the aggression up already. No iron in the back pocket for Syrup. All, missing, almost missing all the materials. And Omega's gonna take a stock there. That was a beautiful conversion there with that falling up there. It feels like to me, that's what separates like mid-tier um, Joker mains from top tier Joker mains, that they are able to consistently find stocks at mid percent without our set. Yeah. Like, t any Joker can kill with a backyard at 170. But all the Jokers that can kill at like 100 off of those drag downs on stages like this, those are the ones that go on to have a ton of success. You cannot rely on Arsene against a character like Steve that can just erase stocks or just deal so much damage to make that tool go away so quickly. Speaking, Speaking of, of Arsene, oh, there we go. Coming out the play here, looking to accentuate. The lead here on Syrup doesn't. Oh, but here comes the back air. It's actually pretty unfortunate there for Omega, giving more time to get those materials up. No diamond just yet, but so regardless, Syrup down, definitely down 70%, trying to keep himself back up here. Omega be doing a good job again, keeping the pressure up. Like you mentioned, Ruth, the battlefield pick has been so good for Omega because he's been using not only the side platforms, but also the top, dropping down from the top platform to pressure with gun. He's been insane for this game. Oh, but stuck in a corner though, does manage to jump out right there, so not getting caught up by all of those jabs. Landing gun need to grab up air. We do get a reset. Are we going to get the up B? No. Syrup has been so patient, has not been tossing out a ton of downers out of disadvantage. I've been really respecting those delayed options. But the back air out of the mine cart, still not going to kill, but we are getting close. One, three, two, man, almost max right here on the Steve. The, uh, Syrup looking for something silly. Instead, Omega finding something silly. That's going to be it, 100%. Wow. I mean, you know Omega activated. He saw him put down the uh, the block. He saw the grab. He saw this. He's like, okay, all right, bro. Who do you think I am? W what do you think this is? You think this is my first time fighting Steve? <laughs> You're not going to find that back throw. You, wh who, do you, who do you think I am? Just the perfect reaction right there. The inst No pummel either. It's just like, yo, DI check. What you got? <laughs> <laughs> he puts the block down. Syrup drops down. Goes to the grab. Omega's like, dog. Really? Really? Did you think I wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it really was. <laughs> really, dog? In that position, you're starting to see how Omega managed to make a little bit of an upset on winner's side of bracket. And I gotta say, Omega's playing kind of thirsty. It, it feels as though Omega really, really wants to go ahead and get this win immediately. Like, he seems to just really want to play aggressive, he wants to turn the tempo up, and he wants to ensure that Syrup cannot have a moment's rest, a moment to breathe. Oh yeah, 100%. That's a really good way to approach the Like we, we saw Jaza with a similar approach, but unfortunately, like, uh, I mean, Syrup did a really good job of catching him, drifting it back in and again. The fact that we've got another layer to this mix of what if I'm gonna do the same thing Jazo did, right? But instead, I have a gun, I have Aha, I have projectiles. Now I can dip between the blocks. Now instead of jumping right on top of Steve, I can pressure him from like five feet away. And that adds a whole different mix to the, the entire flowchart, which Syrup is kind of struggling to deal with right now. 
And now we're going to final D2. This is a stage that, like, it's known as kind of a keep away stage, and it's also known as a stage that can maximize neutral advantage. And to be honest, I kind of like Joker in neutral in this matchup. Like, yeah, the walls are a big game changer, but the second that he manages to break those down, uh, how does, what, what's the get off me tool? I think the thing that Sir really relying on here is the fact that Omega's been finding most of his mix with the pressure with weaving between platforms. Or like going for the gun, dropping up and down, whatever. With no platforms, it's the same short hop gun. There's nothing else you can do besides that, or, or fade away gun. So it's like, okay, if I know what you're gonna hit me with, I have time to set up the right the right walls, and I'm gonna straight up scrap with you. But regardless, but Omega's ready to scrap. It doesn't matter if you know what's coming when you can have three or four disjointed arson aerials tapping your shield, breaking it down, and forcing you to angle that perfectly. And we just didn't see it there, Omega. And she oh. steal that first stock and actually looking pretty healthy at 88 until he gets hit with the diamond tools. Oh, you gotta be careful. Yeah. Exactly. This is diamond tools coming out shortly. It's like we are uh, this stock ain't lost this one. Tail of all times, man. The Omega not getting too aggressive. Finally, taking six seven, even at 133, almost max ratio on the Joker. But Syrup gonna catch him after just barely with that forward air, catching him drifting out. Why did that combo? <laughs> I'm mad. Why wouldn't the combo? What do you mean? He needs it. Shut but, up. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Yeah, huh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but catching that roll in there, and again the dragon of his own. Good stuff there to Omega, keeping the pressure up off stage. Nice recovery there from. Uh, Sir from going hot. Oh, That's a re -grab. my God, he footstooled him. Was that intentional? Foots I, 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 mm. so Omega is the smartest man in this room. Find out on the next episode. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Omega is absolutely on a different one tonight. Looking fantastic. Again, there comes a down gun to keep Syrup at bay. Not, again, forcing him to not be able to get materials up. That's the thing that Syrup is struggling with the most. He doesn't have the materials to go for his regular Syrup shenanigans. When he has a full material bar, Syrup is insane. Like that, he has he has materials to do that. When he has materials to do junk like that off the ledge, he's fantastic. When he doesn't, you're just playing trade up neutral, and he's good at neutral. But Omega is forcing him to play a very disadvantageous game. He's jumping in constantly. Though we saw no impact means no stock for Omega. That perfect block for the up smash. It is very 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 difficult to get out of the corner on this stage against this character. I'll certainly give that up in this matchup, but so far Omega's been slippery enough to make this look advantageous for him, and now at 86% with an arson coming very shortly, I would not be surprised if we are just a one or two interactions away from an early exit on Syrup's side. Down air into up air, will that do it? Yes sir, one interaction is all that it takes to force potentially a deciding game four in grand finals of Cav Clash 5. Omega Man sitting comfortably in Grand Winner's side only needs one singular win to take this entire tournament. Honestly, you're down back against a wall. So Omega's been doing such a good job of keeping this Steve at bay. I don't think he goes Steve. I, don't, I was going to say, I, I was going to say there's always the possibility of the Ness. So that's not surprising he doesn't go to the Ness. I mean, he's been playing Steve all day. There's one thing that Syrup has to do here, I mean, especially considering we're hitting this back to battlefield. It's going to be being able to, honestly, the defensive game, you're going to call out time and time again by Omega. If I'm Syrup, I need to see the crazy cracked out Syrup. I need to see Syrup with the advantage state up to 11. I need to see him get super aggro. Because I know it's in there. I know Syrup can do it. And at this point, being able to play the keep away game with Steve is not working. you got to match his man's energy. I need more shenanigans. Exactly. There you go. Like, that's, we need to see, you're saying matches energy, matches freak. Omega's been out here putting on a show and making you feel a little bit antsy. Why did you say that? Why well, did you say that? Well, I, I are gotta you, do are you allowed to say that? Apparently. Camel hasn't, you know, given me the hook quite yet. Actually, he's gone. He can't see us. We're good. Aha! <laughs> he's matching his freak already. Right. Well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the get up attack. Um, 112, though. Again, Omega sitting here completely in the lead. Arsene right around the corner. Here comes the back air. This is a perfect. If you're Joker, this is what Arsene's you want. Ready. This is the perfect stock for Joker. And Syrup needs to stock now. Or else if you get any sort of worth out of this Arsene, it's going to be really, really unfortunate. Yeah, and if you do actually manage to like keep this even with Arsen disappearing, you're not actually giving your opponent like a, a big bar coming back from the stock. That would be the optimal position at this point. Up tilt, not going to connect into anything at all. Back air does put Syrup in an awkward spot, but the block, the block, block, the down gun. There we go. That's the kind of attitude we need to see from Syrup. But regardless, Omega keeping this pressure up right now off a of sock and looking pretty comfortable while doing it. Keeping the pressure up again, trying to catch the jump from left, just barely losing that backer, but had the right idea. Right on coming out again. Oh my God, the backer coming out. Jazzo's feeling in the crowd. Here comes the backer as well. Not able to take a stock just yet. Sarah finally getting a little bit more materials where that come from, but again, the get up attacks, man. Omega's been getting me with a lot of these. Have you seen like the out of shield differential between these two players too? It feels as though like 
Omega's tapping Seer Shield for free, and then every now and then, Seer will try to flash it to get a parry, and when that happens, if you guess incorrectly, you're dead instantly. Exactly. Honestly, man, Omega on the cusp here of taking the tournament win, one stock away from taking the whole thing, but Syrup not going to take it without a fight. Gold pool's coming out, Arsene Bar online. A lot of iron in the back pocket. He's looking to keep the aggression. The aggression coming out again. Looking to deal with oh! oh, just barely making it around that stone block. If Both of us took a minute to reel back there. I like how Omega did the drift back gun to deal with the first stone block. If, if he didn't, the two blocks here would definitely take the stock. Goes for a crazy S smash read. The up tilt into the back air. 9% are sent going away here. And that's going to do I'm it. Syrup is still in this game. Not only is he still in this game, that is a momentum breaker right there. Omega had the opportunity to chip it in, but instead got a little bit too tricky. And now it is an even game. You may have Arsene, but if you could survive, you can't survive. What a safe. incredible option right there. It's safe. No, you, it wasn't safe. No, it, I'm saying Syrup's safe. <laughs> Syrup is safe, safe. for sure. Huh. That was, I thought, as soon as that forward smash missed, that potentially Omega had let the door open for a Syrup comeback. I didn't think it was going to be that quick. You know when your dad gets mad that you have the door open the house in the summertime and you can't let the bugs in? That's what happened, bro. Omega opened the door. He let the SD run right and in, scurried into the house. Took that game. We're in game five scenario. Syrup, man, after that momentum shift, I think there's no better time for him to take the range back in this set and possibly take this to game five to take us to a reset. Scabs, what are we thinking right now? What's the vibe going to this game five? Not great if I'm Omega. At this point, you got you got to shake it off. You gotta think yeah, to yourself, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, I, I very nearly had it. I overextended a little bit. Back to Battlefield. Interesting option right here, as we saw that Syrup was willing to pick this against Omega. I still think it might just be a counter pick at this point, because I mean, Omega's, his same game plan has been working out well. It's fading it back. I mean, we saw last game, Syrup still wasn't able to get the materials that well. So I think the game plan itself is working. It's the fact that, like, Syrup awoke that X factor that Omega's gotta watch out for and recognize he can't get too overzealous. We saw there, like you said, he lost the game because he went for that snatch. He has to relax. If you relax just a little bit, it's like, okay, you can't turn up too much, then you should be fine if you're on Mecca. But also, there's also the fact that, again, like I mentioned, an X Factor is an X Factor. We can't call whenever it's coming out from Syrup. Syrup might just fund it up to and turn up the gas whenever it's happening. It just showed us really that Syrup is not able, to, not just able to like hang in there with Omega, he's capable of blowing that door off its hinges. He's exactly. capable of saying, listen, you may be feeling yourself a little bit, but all it takes is one mistake, and I am still in this. Recovery high Elijah there, but still getting called out there with the F tilt. Not taking just a good DI there. Syrup still hanging on. He barely makes it back to ledge with the Elytra. Looking to mine those tears on the blade. Actually mixing up there again. Makes it through that barrage. I think one of the first players of today to actually make it back against that the back air barrage against Omega. Still hanging on just fine. We can have the down air, unfortunately. If he Syrup can't get is the still stock, hanging on. Oh my god. If he can't get the stock with this Arsene, this might be devastating. That was huge for Syrup to hanging on that long. No Arsene coming out. And the power minecart is going to take it. At 97? 97! I don't think he was ready to either, honestly, but now ma almost max right here on the Steve. Diamond in the back pocket. This is a perfect situation. Honestly, Syrup is looking to take this and absolutely run with it. This is, like, this is really, really problematic for Omega, because now you really can't kill off Australians for a little bit. You either need to hard commit to a strong smash attack, or you have to get something off stage. And so far, these low recoveries have been paying dividends for Syrup. Syrup has not been intercepted in a minute. There's one thing Sierra wants to do here is not really give, give match the aggression here again. It's you're, you're camping Omega out. You want to get burned on this, this Arsene as much as possible. You're sitting on, on the top platform. If, there, no Arsene going to the beginning of the stock is going to be huge for him, but regardless, he, oh, again, teching out, avoiding that Arsene as long as you can. Omega looking to find something, get his damage worth out of that Arsene, and looking like he's getting it already. 49%, <laughs> until you not get the too damage. bad. Honestly, that's pretty decent value out of that Arsene, but again, that first Arsene was huge for him. Arsene has gone for the rest of the, almost the re probably the rest of the stock here, setting up the, the anvil on the ledge. Syrup has the diamond tools, has a pretty healthy material bar. This is the Steve that we're talking about. This is what Omega has to be scared of, and this is why Syrup has bucked up and he'll be playing comfortable on stage like Battlefield because he can't let that scare him anymore. Yeah, we haven't really been seeing the down air play any role either in this spot. Like you typically think, okay, under platforms you'll get the drag down up air from Omega. You won't, uh. be, you won't be able to get the down airs to get out of disadvantage here, but the problem is that Omega hasn't really been controlling space vertically at all. It's been all horizontal for him. He's been carrying, oh my god, standing strong in the corner and then just letting the forward smash rip. Screw analysis, my man out here swaying it. We this, just hit buttons. This is the syrup that we need to see someone the syrup who is feeling confident in the aggression. Someone who's not getting deterred by the 
way that Omega is dealing with the materials, being like, oh, you know what? I've got that aggression on lock. I've got these damage combos. Yeah, our sun's coming up, but you know what? I've got diamond in the back pocket. If I lose my stock, it's fine. If I take your stock here, it's also great. We're going to reset. Regardless, Syrup is feeling comfortable, and that is the best place to be if you're this deep main right now. Oh, my lord. We're just swinging. Just, just toss him off stage. Yeah, exactly. you got to get something going here. Arsene starting to diminish in this position. We got another Footstool again. Footstool. That's it. Yep. The town is at the sweet spot. Yo, this game is terrible. Oh my god! But that back air is going to do it. It also means there's no Arsene left. The final stock situation possibly. Omega could take the entire tournament here. Syrup, no materials left. Diamond tools online. He materials back up as fast as he can. Looking for this. Uh, does he find that one just yet? Just needs to get out of the corner here. We have to get back to center stage. Arsene is almost here. We need maybe 40, 60 percent here. We have to have one or two neutral wins. And so far, if Omega is looking terrified. Looks like he does not want to engage whatsoever right now. Materials upsetting the wall here against Syrup. Looking confident here. Looking to play the aggressive game regardless of the up tilt. We catch it rolling just yet. Omega finally going to grab there. Like I said, the Arsene is right around the corner. You've got to find some good damage. 48 percent. With that Arsene, I don't think you really have the clinker to take this, this game. But Diamond Tools online again. You have the powered minecar. Syrup is playing his game regardless, keeping Omega at bay. Air dodging through Omega, through the fire and the flames. He's carrying on. Tries to get the back here, but the minecart actually uh. intercepts it. So Arsene is out. This could very well be determined about whether or not he gets <gasps> back to stage. What? Tries to roll through the lava, but can't get it. The down smash secures a reset. And that's why you never mind straight down. <laughs> you fall straight into the lava, buddy. We are here. Grand reset at Cav Clash 5. Syrup, like no other, through the fire and the flames. We're still here. We're carrying on. My God. Scabs, man. Through the fire, through the flames, a little bit of brimstone brought back to deliver directly to Omega. It feels as though this was a set that Omega had in his hands, and it just started to slip away. Two victories in a row for Syrup. What do you think? Omega needs to do here for the reset. This is gonna be tough. Definitely gonna be easier said than done. I think if anything, if I'm Omega, you gotta like mental reset, right? They're definitely gonna take a that's a lot of mental damage. Joker. Seeing how Syrup just be able to swift the switch right that the top player mode came out. There's one way to deal with Syrup getting in uh Fuku himself getting the aggression again. It's definitely gonna be you need to calm down and reset the tempo. There's one thing Omega's been good is demanding the tempo of the set. Syrup took that by the reins. He got the aggressive, he's like, okay, you know what, you got a little too comfortable playing, doing your Joker shenanigans, I'm having none of that. If you're Omega, like, wait, I'm good at that. I'm good at playing the patient game and fighting my damage, nickel and diamond you slowly but surely. If you can do that, then Sir has, has to reevaluate how he's playing, and that's when you get back in the lead. Omega just has to take a breather and relax. Woosa, we're back in it. We'll have to see if Omega tries to play a little bit more patiently, a little bit slower pace right here. It feels as though Syrup not really having too much of it. He's basically covering landing so, so well. It seems as though Omega's oh, momentum oh, oh. has been just halted time and time again. He is forcing him off stage. Are we going to go ahead and go off stage with the down air? No, not going to get the connection. Down air missing yet again. Tries for a oh. smash attack, but instead, no tech on the block. <laughs> Did you see that in the cam? Omega turned his control to the camera when he had to click the button. Like, wait, I tech that. Doesn't matter if you tech it. Regardless, you would No way. That would have been so funny. <laughs> he actually, he got the tether recovery too in that spot. Like, I think that if he had the Arsene recovery forced on him in that position, he was actually dead. I was mentioning this earlier, the main thing Syrup was struggling with playing against uh, Omega that he can't do the normal Steve, he doesn't have the materials to do the normal Steve stuff. Syrup's like, wait a minute, I don't care if I lose my materials. I'm, st I'm Syrup, I'm, I'm that swinging. guy. I'm still doing the thing. He's doing Steve stuff now, and Omega is like, he hasn't pulled this stuff out all set. The three sets they played so far, he hasn't pulled any of this out. And Omega just has to learn. He has three games of like, oh, Damn, wait a minute. This guy is a top player. Real talk, the recovery and the corner pressure has just been an another level so far. Like, it, it feels as though Syrup has just really kept this game plan in the corner. Perhaps it took him a little bit of time to develop it here because three sets in now, it feels as though Omega can't get back to center stage. This is really tough catching the running off the platform there with the up tilt. Looking for an Aaron up smash. Not going to find that one just yet. In the tome, a den and the up tilt. Recognizing time and time again, delaying the recovery is good. Normally, right? He recognizes that with delays recovery, then goes for that. Then, wait a minute, Syrup's like, okay, you're going to delay your recovery to go through this. That's smart. What if I just put an anvil there? What, right, what if I put an anvil there? I guess there's that, no that's, option. That's, that's the ingenuity of Syrup. I cast this guy so much. I, 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 I like, you know the, um, you know the Sherlock Holmes show where like he like sees like the, the mystery unfold like in front of his eyes. That's Syrup with Steve. 
He's like, okay, so you're going to block my stone here. Boom, anvil. Now what? Discombobulate. Discombobulate. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need TNT to do in, in this platform. position. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but if I'm, if I'm, Omega's looking a little bit discombobulated right here. Wow. It looks like he is currently, wow. he just doesn't understand what to do in these positions. Every single corner interaction is going Syrup's way. And at some point, you have to add a little bit of a wrinkle to your recovery, or you have to commit to not getting forced off stage. You have to play a little bit more grounded, and we just have not been seeing that. So I honestly think that's a really good point to bring up because that's why we're, I think we're, that's why I think we're going to Smashville here. You think I, Omega's saying, okay, you know what? The uh, passive gameplay isn't really working out. I just need to turn up. He's recognizing that, saying, okay, we're going to Smashville. Small stage against Steve has a lot less space to get his materials up, but also I am confident in my advantage state. And Omega taking that first stock, this is, we're not seeing the camping Omega anymore. This oh. guy is turning up here, and we're like, I might lose my stock early, but man, I, I am feeling comfortable right now. And it's Omega, like, look good. Dog, if I confirms like that, I'd be comfortable too right That's there. That's what I'm saying. Exactly, like the falling last hitbox, potentially, of falling forward air into another one. Like, this is Colleen confirms from Omega, and we're going to need every single one of them. No nooch needed. No nooch required. No, no, no batteries required, bro. Need to play comfortably on that crossing. Been a little too results there with the grab. That down there, actually? What an option from right. Omega. Omega, he is turning up right now. This, this, this is what we need to see, man. This Joker in a small stage, man. Being able to just play his normal. This is how you, this is how you expect this, this Joker to normally play. Not against Steve. He's like, okay, you know, forget the Steve matchup. I am just pressing buttons, and I'm looking good while doing it. And Sirius has to take some time. Like, wait a minute. Oh, this guy is turning up. I, I got I to gotta reevaluate how I'm approaching this. This, this is crazy. It feels like every button the Joker has in the air is just frame good. <laughs> just intercepting him so quickly, he can react at the last possible second because of this quick frame data, and it just feels as though the slower speed of Steve is getting intercepted by Omega's options. You don't hear that too much often anymore. Like back in like October 2020, you're like, oh, Steve is called out because he's so slow. Nowadays, you don't hear that too much. No. Now we're, we're seeing it finally brought back. And so oh my, what a great rebel card. A, a stage like this, so small, where like Joker is running laps around you. This is huge. You get the lead as a character like this, we will find damage, and Steve doesn't have time to get the materials up. And but you, you, this is why you need stuff like this. And and he's waiting it out. Oh, oh actually delayed by the crafting table. That was purposefully done. Gotta be careful. Nice grab there to catch the landing there. Our son almost gone. What, what hit? Was that a back air? It was a back air. A back air snipes. He was off ready of the for anvil? the. No, he went for the back air. He knew he was gonna go for the anvil. They're saying, okay, I'm up a stock. I'm waiting. I'm ready to die off of this anvil. He just go for the back air. That was insane. What an option, like the little DBZ2. He positioned it perfectly, too. So, yeah, you're going to get hit. Tossed off stage. He DIs hard in in that spot. Back air, B reverse, and then he jumps into the edge and gets the back air out so that he has an opportunity to either tech in the corner if it doesn't hit, or if it does, what a trade. That's geometry right there. Yeah, this, this dude, college-level algebra. That's what I'm saying, dog. I'm sure what do you know about completing the square? <laughs> uh, I'll make complete the square. That's all I'm saying. He, he, I want to see the proof after the class. Stop. I want to see the proof after class. Show your work, son. That's what I'm saying, bro. He's, yeah, he's chat, chat GPT call that combo out. So what do you know about photo math, bro? <laughs> <laughs> We're taking this to the battlefield, actually. And this is the thing, right? I mention a lot when I'm casting Syrup about how he, he's a little switch of tempo. Now we saw Omega 2.0. Now we saw how we went from playing super patiently to turning up. Now, if I'm Syrup, I'm like, wait a minute. This guy's got another MO, too. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little shook if I'm Syrup right now. Just a little bit, though, but it's 75% unanswered, too. It's like not only has he been super aggressive, but he's been winning neutral in such a dominant fashion. It feels as though just Syrup hasn't had that much momentum. After that, oh, no. Okay, no footstool. No footstool, thank God, because you know Syrup was going for it. You know, he wanted it, man. Syrup comes find that minecart. Oh, there we go. No footstool needed, but Arsene oh. comes out at the last second and unable to make the recovery. Syrup's like, yeah, uh, you've been you've been way too comfortable off stage. You gotta remember, I'm still Steve, buddy. You gotta relax. You gotta hit respect right in that the end. Option. Option. Respect your elders. I don't wanna say it's an elder, but anyways. Uh, <laughs> press on the platform regardless. Six different percent. Arsene is out. That's gonna take the second regardless. Now Syrup forcing his Arsene to go away on the second stock now, just waiting it out. You're gonna take a little bit of damage here regardless. But I mean, Omega, there's one thing, is making the last half of Arsene count so much. I mean, he's so good at this. Yeah, Arsene has just been such a game changer, 60%. And whoa, no, the wow, mix right wow, there. Wow, 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 wow. You put the platform down too, so he couldn't like run forward and get a punish. That was nasty from Syrup, and we are not done. He walks him across the stage and then switches to up tilts. That's, that's a remix right there. 
That is the secondary version coming out, and Seraph looking fantastic. Up the Diamond Tools online. Goes higher with the Electric, actually punishes the F tool coming out there. Again, that's another level. Syrup being able to recognize that Omega's playing aggressive, like he's going full send aggressive right now, getting only the bare minimum materials that he needs. Fourth or off the stage, and just man, keeping Omega at a decent bit, just barely avoiding that Aegon, and forcing Omega to just respect everything he's throwing out. It's gonna be tough. Oh my god, get, get away from through. that anvil, please leave. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, dude, how's Omega alive? This is <laughs> with a shield that small, too. Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right. Imagine like escaping the contraption twice. You're like, okay, <laughs> uh, uh, I like place my forty here. But what if I'm doing fine? He's like, okay, but hear me out. What, I will minecart because it is strong. It is in fact strong. It is very strong. Solid analysis, Momo. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> shout out to Google, bro. <laughs> shout out to Last. He's he's out of a job shout next out time. To <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Magnus Carlson, hit my line, bro. <laughs> Chess.com, hit my line. <laughs> Anyways. There we go, there we go. Checkers.com hit my line. So, Syrup trying to go ahead and complete the sweep all the way from loser's bracket and get this run back against Omega. What He's looking like it right now. Do you think that um, the counter pick is going to matter as much as the momentum on stock one? It feels like stages haven't been as important in this matchup. I think the stages have really been, not the stage itself, but really has been dictating mentally for the players the vibe going into this. I think Small Battlefield recognizing here that Omega is like, I need to mix of both. I need to... Stop the syrup getting materials when I can, but also I need aggression here. I need the Omega to actually turn up because that's the only thing that's going to be back in this game. We know this advantage day is definitely in there. He's able to bring this back. But man, like syrup, regardless, uh, if there's one stage you play on a lot, you know anything about Tri State? I well, do. There's two stages we like PS2 and Small Battle. We are here a lot. Syrup is home, buddy. Five, five hours of home? No, I'm home. He's looking very comfortable right here on this position. Stuck between Jeez. two walls, and he just puts the roof up right there. That Ali. up smash devastating. How the heck do you land against that tool? You don't, unfortunately. Apparently. Omega asking the same questions that I am. I'm just asking questions. Just asking questions. There we go. The gold up tilt's coming out are sent online once again, even regardless if you take the stock here. Let's just expend some of that are sent for the next stock. Diamond in the back pocket. Syrup is looking as comfortable as ever. Omega needs to take the stock yesterday to make more worth this our sent, but it's not looking like it's not going to happen. Oh, delaying the master again. Good stuff there for Omega to avoid that, but man, Syrup is seeing an elite, getting off of that angel, just again, chipping away at the Arsene. The Arsene's been a big problem for him. Being able to now be playing on it so nonchalantly is a big no-no and a problem for Omega. Oh, no, oh, and my, very nearly. Yeah, I thought we were going to get another NIL, oh, but instead, God. the forward smash to cover yet another landing. Syrup looking to just put one more nail in this coffin to make sure that Omega can't complete any kind of a sweep here. Yeah, three stocks to one. Omega looking, fighting on his last. He needs to come to life here if we want to anyway back in this game. The Arsene meter is almost back up, so definitely if you take the stock here, it's possible. If you can take the stock now, it's doable. You get the Arsene up for the next stock. Oh, unfortunately, drops the Arsene there, but the backer's coming out. Again, with a full Arsene bar, There's it, Omega can find the hit here on Syrup with the Diamond Tool, he could make this happen. And Syrup needs to be careful. He cannot, this game is not out of the bag just yet. Yeah, I mean, we all know what this character can do to kill early. Like, I wouldn't be surprised for Smop's age to get like a counter or something like that to kill at like 60. We've all seen this happen before, but the problem is Syrup is in an advantageous position right now. Again, with full stage control, again, forcing Omega in the corner and having him terrified in shield. It feels like you're just not getting any aggressive opportunities. Arsene was lost for next to nothing. And then up whole two and a half stocks. It's really going to be tough for Omega to bring it back up air coming out into an up throw as well. Looking to find more damage off of that. Looking for the reset there, but the back air comes out. Diamond tools, half a material bar. Syrup is looking unbeatable right now. The mechanic are coming through. Omega still getting through that just fine with the roll. That's not just coming out. Oh, Willie, no, he's got a whole stock to play with, and Syrup is throwing out options. But Omega is still in this game. And there comes the back throw, and like that, Syrup finds it, catching a landing there. Back throw into the stone block, and just like that, Coming from loser's side, fighting, going down 2-1 in the first set of grands. Syrup fights all the way back, gets the reset, and wins Cavalier Clash 5. Congratulations for Syrup for taking that whole tournament. I mean, it was a heck of a run, and now you see the shoulders slump a little bit. You see the tension leave his body because that was a difficult set. Set two, Syrup certainly felt a little bit more in control, but Omega never really fell out of it yeah. until maybe that last like stock, stock and a half where Syrup was just like tapping things in. It felt as though 
we all know what this player can do with the tiniest bit of momentum. One Arsene down air, one Arsene back air, and you could see an entire reversal where we're forced to it, yet another game bomb. Bro, that was absolutely phenomenal showing both of those players. Think, shout out to Omega, of course, getting six seed today. I think second, absolutely on the money all day. I think Syrup was the only person that could have taken him down. Honestly, I, I agree. He I was agree. playing. That's probably some of the best Joker play I've ever seen. Congratulations to him. Of course, congratulations to our 44 seed, Mr. Phantom over there, mm -hmm. making the run of a lifetime, getting third place here. Giles, of course, is getting fourth, and all the rest of our competitors here today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Scabs, it's been a pleasure working with you, as always. The distinguished gentleman block is here to stay. I mean, I had a lot of fun. I mean, I know it's a little bit difficult to castle me because you're a player that's been working so, so hard, and you've been putting in a ton of effort at all these events that I want to go ahead and feature you anytime I get the opportunity to do so. I was hoping that I could get you somebody new this time, but unfortunately, you got to sit here with little old me. Eventually, eventually, though, top eight at a major. That's... <laughs> that's the plan. That's the plan. Uh, that's right? the plan. I'm we got you. We got you top eight at a Witcher McCall out of like a super regional. Well, that's the next one, right? That's the next one, bro. Let's, that's let's, the next anyway, one. Hopefully so. But anyways, scabs. Where can they find you? You can find me on social media on Twitter at SSB underscore scabs. And what about you, Momo? You can find me on Twitter at Momo on the mic for all my on the mic shenanigans. It's been an absolute blast here today. Again, of course, thank you, Scabs, for bringing me out. Thank you to the production team for KML for having me here. Mm -hmm. Kyle, of course, over here, thank you for having me on. Yep. Oh, shake my hand. Oh, shake yep. my hand. And also shake go ahead hand. and follow at KML Tournaments if you are interested in keeping up with the latest and greatest events in the DMV. Exactly. And unfortunately, though, I think that we are very nearly getting uh, getting kicked out of here. Oh, yeah, follow our head CO2 at OJ Waddler. But so we have to go ahead and cut it a little bit short so that we can start packing up because... Okay, we're so... Okay, we're okay. going to go ahead and get KML and OJ, our TO and production heads out here. So that's they're tired be, of us. That's going to be it for us. Yeah, I mean, they're giving us the hook right here. So, y'all, I guess you have to catch us all next time. Have a good one, y'all. Take it easy. Hello, hello, everyone. Hey, yo. So... Welcome to, or I guess I should say, this is the end of Cavalier Clash 5. See, we're exhausted. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. This is Virginia's first B tier. I know we have Supernova, but that's Northern Virginia. That's Northern, that's Northern that's Virginia. That's not Central Virginia. That's Northern Virginia. Uh, so basically, different region, by the way. By the way, to anybody that's watching this, Central Virginia should be a different region on Looming Rank than, uh, than uh, the rest of the DMV, just saying. Uh, but don't quote me on that. Uh, <laughs> I know all you statisticians are going to love that one. But uh, basically, thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, I'm Kyle of KML Tournaments, if you guys don't know. And this is OJ Waddler, the yep. head TO of the event. And uh, you got anything to say? Anything you want to talk about the event? I think... The event went as good as we could make it. It went fast, no big hiccups, so we're chilling. Yeah, it's only uh, What's it's it? only like it's not even nine o'clock Eastern time, and we just did we just did the entire 180 person event. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, especially considering single star at noon. Less yeah. than nine hours. Yeah, I mean, shout yeah. outs to all of our pool captains: APT, Nova, Broski. And Lugia. Uh, of course. Shout outs to everybody on a production of the UVA. Yeah, let me get a I'll give a shout out to production. Let's shout outs uh, shout outs to Ariel who covered for a lot of my tech directing. And then our excellent stage managers, Sable, Zach, and Consort, and also just anybody else from the KML crew that happened to stop by. And hey, uh, our next event, I don't even know. Like uh, we're not doing a big event like this for a while, actually. Now that I think about it, this is the last like big, big one. But you'll catch us at uh, Defend the District Seven on October twelfth. Uh, thank you, Ariel. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I love these lower thirds. These are new to this stream. They're not perfect, but I will be workshopping them, and I wanted to try them out with this event. Uh, let's give a special thank to everybody that helped make this event possible. Let's shout outs to the cut, which is happening tomorrow. It's normally on Thursdays, but we're doing a Cavalier Clash post local tomorrow, right here on KML Tournaments, here in Charlottesville. Uh, the Smash It UVA team. I mean, that includes you. That includes all of the yeah. uh, club, pre like all of the club officers and all that, and the Free Dancer Weekly that they have every single Friday with every Ultimate Friday. Melee, sometimes even Rivals of Aether and other cool side events. And that'll be on the uh, Smash at Seville channel. And 
Uh, also, our other sponsors, uh, Trouble in the Triangle, uh, Rocktown Games, and obviously, Trouble in the Triangle is happening in uh, North Carolina. October That's 5th. October 5th. Shout out to Fubs. She's really great at what she does down there at Duke, and uh, happy to uh, promote. Yeah. Of course, go to Duke. Uh, go go to uh, Duke for Trouble in the Triangle. It's going to be great. And um, then, of course, some of the other stuff. Defend the district, which I've already mentioned, and uh, everybody else that's helped out. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll be doing next. What as for you? Um, I'll be running the cut. I'll be running the UVA weeklies. We have some other things in the works. Which, if you look at, see. if you stay to the end of the credits. You might see something really awesome about how uh, a certain installment of Central Virginia's regional series might evolve to a little bit more than a regional. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. But you got to watch till the end of the credits we'll see. for that one. We'll see. It's up in there. Yeah. Well, we got to get packing. Uh, any last words? Um, thank you, everyone who came, and thank you all for watching. Yes, of course. By the way... This was a really good stream for us, so I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Uh, all right. My name has been Kyle. You can find me on all socials at KML underscore 1030 or the KML Tournaments account. That is at KML Tournaments. Or you can even contact us at KMLTournaments at gmail.com to stream your event. And as you can see, this event went pretty well. We got some good viewership. Highly and recommend. Maybe. So I want to get to more than just Virginia, respectfully. <laughs> I love Cav Clash. I'll be back. Yes, All right. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Let's roll the credits. Peace and love. Thank you. Have a great night. All right. It's it's in. Yep. Yeah. There you go. You just press it. Just press it. It's broken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the stream was going. The stream was going so well. Perfect. Until and now, now. Until now. Give me a minute. The credits button's broken. Get your last words in before I press the button to fix it. Um. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Find me at OJ Wadler on everything. Your hand is not on the camera. That's okay. All right.